Good evening, Jose Angel. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Great. Great, right. thanks. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks okay. for asking. How was your day? I was I was I was fine. Okay. Nice. Did you have to work today? Yes. You did. Okay. Yes. All right, yes. that's great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? It was okay. All right. So are you excited about finishing the course today? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we need vacation. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any plans? I go I go to sleep early. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. Do you wake up early in the mornings? Yes. You this what, is the time. <laughs> yeah. What time do you wake up? Do you usually wake up? Night. About nine. Oh, about nine. Whenever you don't have yes. to work, I guess. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. And when you have to work? What I work. Mm -hmm. uh, no, when you have I... to work, what time do you wake up? Um, um... I get up uh, five, oh. five, five thirty a.m. Oh yeah, that's pretty early. Yes. Yes. So you should take advantage of vacation and sleep a lot. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other plans besides sleeping in? No, I rest. I rest this day and I wait to the the last the last day to the year okay all right sounds great Jose Angel do you have any plans for the holidays mm. sorry do you have any plans for the vacations? Oh, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay. No plan. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, are home, you at home? <laughs> okay. Sounds nice. You're going to have some time to rest and maybe watch TV, watch movies. Do you like yes. watching movies? <laughs> Best movie, yes. You do. Okay. What kind of movies do you like? Um, the, do you like the weird, the weird. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So okay. you're not going anywhere on vacation. Sorry? You're not going anywhere on vacation. Uh, You're not going out. Yes. Just yes. staying home. Okay. Sounds yes. nice. Yes. Mm. Good evening, Brenda. Good evening. How are you? Yes, so so. So so. Oh, really? What happened? <laughs> And much working. Oh, okay. You should be tired. Yes. Okay. Um, but tomorrow is Friday. Thank God, right? 
<laughs> yes, miss. Do you work on, on Saturdays? Uh, yes. Oh, you do? Uh, okay. To 1 p.m. Oh, till 1 p.m. You have a short shift. That's nice. Good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, bye, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Yes, I will, teacher. Great. So we're talking about the plans for the holidays. Do we have any? Mm -hmm. This is my parents. It's dinner, Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh, okay. You're visiting your parents on Christmas. Yes. Yes. They live near you? Uh, equal. Oh, okay. All yes. right. Sounds great. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Mm, uh, fine. <laughs> okay, that's nice. How was your day? Uh, today's work was very tiring <laughs> for oh, me. Tiring. Okay. You had a lot of work, I guess. Yes. yes. Okay. Are you also having vacation um, this month? The next, I, 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 we, okay, I going to vacation the next week. Oh, you're having vacation next week too. Okay, sounds good. Do you have any plans for that? Uh, no. <laughs> you don't. So you're just staying uh, home. I think, but um, whatever. Uh, I I I will to visit my family. Maybe you'll visit your family. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Maria del Rosario, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, no, not very good. Oh, really? I have a headache. I, I have a headache. headache. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. You should take some pills. Yes, I am. I am. I am take up pills. Okay. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, no. Okay. So hopefully you'll be better. Thank you, teacher. Well, I think we may start with our last class. Isn't it exciting? We're just finishing our course and we're having some vacation. So that's nice. So let's start by making a sentence raise. How come? I need you all to open the chat here in Zoom. So please, everybody, open your chat and then I'm going to give you some information, some prompts, and I'm choosing two people. Then those two people are going to have to write a sentence. The one that does it faster and correctly is going to win the race. So for example, number one, we got will and it. So let me ask Fabricio and Jose Angel, make a sentence using will and it and send it in the chat. 
Let's see who does it for, first. Okay, teacher. Okay. So let's see if Fabricio or Jose Angel who's going to get the sentence first. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, just try to make a sentence using will and it, and then you type it in the chat and you send it. All right, we got one from Fabricio. It says, I will eat at a restaurant tomorrow. Great. So Fabricio, you're the winner. Then let's get another one. Um, this battle is going to be Brenda versus Melvin. So Brenda and Melvin, it's your turn to participate. We're using be going to in the verb catch. So please make a sentence. Use be going to and catch. Brenda and Melvin. Let's see, Brenda and Melvin, who's getting the first sentence. All right, Brenda did. She says, I'm going to catch the balloon. Very good, Brenda, you won. Okay, and our next battle is going to be for three people. That is going to be Maria, Anna, and Ruth. The information you're using is Will and Cole. Will and Cole, Maria, Anna, and Ruth are participating now. You also got one, Melvin. I'm going to catch my dog. Okay. So now let's wait for Maria, Anna, and Ruth to make their sentences using Will or Cole. We got one from Maria. She says, we will call my mom tomorrow. 
Okay, very good, Maria. You're the winner. All right, so now let's continue by making sentences, but this time I want you to say them. You just open your microphone and you say your sentence. Let's see who does, this, does it first. So um, we're not using the chat anymore. We're just saying the sentences. So let's see, let me have Fabricio versus Brenda. And you're using be going to and swim. Fabricio and Brenda, you make a sentence using be going to and swim. You say it. I'm going to swim at the beach. Okay. That's great, Fabricio. I'm going to swim in the pool. All right. That's nice, Brenda. Jose Angel and Melvin. Use will and cook in a sentence. I will cook this uh, uh, tomorrow. All right, Melvin. Okay, the other one's going to be for Maria and Anna. We got be going to and do. Maria and Anna, you have to make a sentence using be going to or and do. Okay. I'm going to do the homework. I'm going to do the homework. That's correct, Anna. Let me have now Ruth and Emma and also Carlos Rene. We got three people, Ruth, Emma, and Carlos Rene. You make a sentence using will and type. I will type the email tomorrow. Great. Very good, Emma. And let me get another sentence using will and make from Fabricio and Melvini. Fabricio and Melvin use will and make. I will make puzzles. I will make puzzles. Puzzles. Okay. Puzzles. Puzzles. Very good. All right. So now we're going to talk about the future. Remember that yesterday we started with this topic and we talked a little bit about the use of will and be going to. Now let me just tell you a little bit more about how we use each of them. We say that we use will for rapid decisions. For example, when I say I'm thirsty, I think I will buy a drink. That is something I just decided, right? I will buy a drink. Just at the moment you feel thirsty, then you decide to get something to drink. Also, we use will for offers. As in the example, that looks heavy. I will help you with it. I will help you. That is an offer, right? Then we also use it for promise. Can you help me to read the example, Anna? Repeat the, the question, Tisha. Can you help me to read the example? That's one for promise. For promise. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. So you see how we use, I won't, I won't tell anyone. So you're promising that you're not going to do that. You won't do it. Then we have the use of be going to. As we mentioned before, we use be going to for plans, prior plans. Those things that you have already thought of and you have decided 
uh, that you're going to do something, right? For example, in the sentence, Jose Angel, can you read it, please? Jose Angel, can you help me to read the example over here? Uh, uh, I'm going to travel to Japan next year. Thanks. So that is a plan for next year, right? You have already decided that you are going to travel to Japan and you're doing, next, you're doing it next year. Another thing that we use be going to for is whenever we're talking about something based on evidence or signs. Um, can you help me to read the example, Brenda? Brenda, can you help me to read? The Barcelona are going to win. Okay, thanks. So it says it's seven ten. The Vikings are going to win. So based on this score, I can say that the Vikings are going to win. I'm sure about it, right? There's a big difference. So I'm sure about that happening. I have some evidence, some signs that tell me that is going to happen. Also, another example could be if I see the, the sky very dark, what is going to happen? Tell me. The sky is very dark. What's going to happen? It's a raining. It's use going to please. It's going to rain. Rain. It's going to rain. It's going rain. to rain. So based on that evidence, you say that it's going to rain. Okay, so now um, we are going to practice a little bit in the platform by working in the knowledge check number 5.3. So we have to read and listen the following conversation and answer the questions. First of all, this is the same conversation we worked with one of these days. So let's just listen to it once and solve the exercise. So please pay attention to the audio. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay, so let's try to solve the exercise. We got the first question. Where are the girls going to stay? Where are they going to stay? At a hotel? at a relative's beach house or at a used host hostel? At a relative beach house. At a relative's beach house, that is correct. Number two, Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to go to the beach with her cousin, she's going to go camping, or she's going to go boating. She's going to the beach with the hair cousin. That's right. She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. She has a plan. Number three, what might Julia do with her cousin? Stay home all day, go shopping, or go fishing? Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Number four, I am booked for this weekend. 
I will go camping, I am going to go camping, or I might go camping. I'm going to camping. Yes, you say, I am going to go camping. I am booked would mean like I'm busy this weekend, so I already have a plan and I'm all busy. Therefore, I need to express what I am going to do using this structure. Number five, what should you say if you're unsure? I'm going to live around the end of June. Maybe I will live around the end of June or I will live around the end of June. Which one? Maybe I will live around the end of June. Exactly. So yesterday we saw some of the phrases, some of the adverbs that we can use together with will. And this is one of them, right? When you are unsure about something happening, you may say, maybe I will, or maybe she will. All right, great. Yes. Now let's continue by completing some sentences using either be going to or will. The first one says, have you got any plans for tomorrow? And the answer is yes, I visit my grandparents. Do we use will or be going to? I'm going to visit my grandparents. You say I'm going to visit my grandparents. Why do we choose going to? Uh, uh, okay, so yes, I'm going. But what's the difference if I say I'm going to visit my grandparents and I will visit my grandparents? Will is probability. Okay, that's a probability. And going to um, is? Is uh, affirmative. It's a plan, right? As you stated in the question, have you got any plans for tomorrow? You say, yes, I am going to visit my grandparents. I am going to visit my grandparents. Number two, why is she learning Spanish? Why is she learning Spanish? She will travel to Spain. She will travel to, travel to Spain or she's going to travel to Spain? Which one do we She's choose? She's going to travel to Spain. Yes. Here we need to say she's going to travel. She's going. Going to travel to Spain. Why do we say it that way and not with will? Future plan. These are learning. Yeah, we're based Thanks. on yeah, we based our answer in some evidence, right? She is learning Spanish. So we say that she is going to travel to Spain. Number three, we are thirsty. Wait here, I? I going to. I will. I will get some water. Why do we choose will? <laughs> Why? What do you think? I, I chose going to. You chose going to, okay. But here because you need it's... to, tell me. If I, if I had a birthday, I going to buy a bottle of water. Okay. All right, just remember that um, in the, last chart that I showed you, we talked a little bit about the rapid decisions or those decisions that you make at the moment of speaking. So this is one of them, right? You do not really plan about getting some water at some a point or at some time, right? You just decided at the moment, I will get some water. That's why you choose will. Then we have number four, meat or fish. I have some fish, please. Will or be going to? Will. Will. 
will why is decision immediately yes probably that decision. decision that is a decision you made at the moment right i will have some fish number five what do you want the keys for Then we say, I close the door. Is it I'm going to or I will? I'm going to. Are you going to? Yes, in that case, it's just going to. I'm going to close the door. Number six, if you don't take a taxi, you? You will. will. You will arrive on time. Are you sure? Going to, going to, going to, for information. Mm. Well, in that case, we are talking about, um, let's call it a prediction. So we need to use going, I mean, will, but in the negative form. If you to don't one. take a taxi, you? You won't arrive on time. You won't arrive on time. Number seven, why do you want so many oranges? Then the answer, I make an orange juice. We'll all be going, going to. I'm going to make an orange juice. I'm going to. Why do you say I'm going to and not I will? Why? I make a uh, orange juice. Yes, right. We're talking about orange juice based on the evidence or on the signs that you're given by asking for oranges, right? Then the last one says, oh, I haven't got enough money to pay. Don't worry, I lend you some. You say? Will or be going to? I will. I will lend you some, right? Why do we choose will? A decision. Again, it's a rapid decision, right? You do not really plan about lending that money to maybe your friend or your relative. You just decided at the moment, it's a rapid decision. Are we clear about this? Do we have any questions? Uh, 20, 20, 28. Ah, 28. Ah, 28. <laughs> the sentence, uh, the question negative, uh, the answer is uh, negative. Um, which one? Uh, six. Number six. Um, yeah, we're not really talking about a question. It's a conditional. So we have, if you don't take a taxi, you won't arrive on time. In this case, yes, you need double negative. You need negative in the if clause and also in the other one with the future. You don't, you won't but it doesn't happen all the time. It all depends on the meaning of the sentence. Okay, do we have any other questions? No teacher. No more. Okay, so now I'm going to send you to the breakout room. I want you to make a plan for Christmas. So what are you going to do or what are you going to get? What are you going to buy? What are you going to eat? I mean, just make a plan and think about everything. And remember, once again, we use be going to for plans that we are making, that we are sure that are happening. And we use will whenever we are not sure about something. So if you're not sure, that you are eating turkey, then you say, we will eat turkey, for instance. But if you're sure you're going to 
Let's say to visit your relatives, then you say, I am going to visit my relatives. So let me send you to the breakout rooms and you all are going, to, are going to get a chance to share your plans for Christmas. Remember to use both of the tenses, the, the future word will, and also be going to. There you go. I will eat chicken with rice with my family. Okay. Another. I do have a plan. <laughs> Plans. Jet. What What do you want to do, Melvi? Uh, I don't have plans yet. Oh, okay. So Melvin, maybe, maybe you can share some of the things that you think that will happen? Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm, I will dance, maybe. Okay. What else? We'll and and uh, I going I'm going to hit with my family. Uh, and, uh, I going to. I don't know how to say it. Say pólvora. The luces. Some firecrackers or fireworks. Fireworks in okay. the in the middle middle night. Okay, at midnight. All right. So maybe Fabricio, Brenda, and Anna, you can also ask questions to Melvin, so we get more information. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Continue practicing. I'm going to I'm going to visit my grandma. I I will I will travel to to United States. Oh. That's okay. Okay. Um, we will have a party in Christmas. Um, we will eat cake on Christmas. I will go to the dinner. We will have a party uh, for celebrate the, the birthday of my cousin. Okay. Oh, um, we are going to celebrate my dad's part, my dad's birthday too. Uh, okay. I'm going to visit my aunt.
Uh, I want to visit my nephew. I will visit the beach. Okay. Uh, I going to I going to buy the new shoes. Um I going to I will going. <laughs> <laughs> Usted primero. We will go to shopping. Okay. okay. Um, I will go into the park. I'm going to visit a restaurant. We we will eating pupusas. Um, we will visit my own. We are going to going to swim in the pool. I am going to dance in Christmas. Um, I'm going to prepare chicken. Okay. How the group? All right, so let me hear some of your plans. Let me ask Maria del Rosario, what are your plans for Christmas? Okay, I I going to visit my my mother. Okay. What else? Uh, I going to celebrate uh, Christmas with my son. Mm -hmm. One more thing, please. I will. I will going to. I will. I will celebrate the birthday of my cousin. Okay, you you will celebrate your cousin's birthday. Okay. Thanks yes. for sharing, Maria. Fabricio, what are your plans for Christmas? Tell me three things you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to buy the clothes for my children. Okay. I'm going to celebrate by my family. With my family. I will visit my parents. You uh, with your parents. Yes, I will be cook the turkey 
Nice. Eh, I will eat with my family and soon with okay. my brothers. Oh, it sounds fun. It sounds fun. Nice. Yes, yes. Jose Angel, tell me about your plans for Christmas. Uh, I I going I going to visit my parents. Okay. I I going I going to to go uh, to go at the at the beach. To go to the beach. Uh, I I going to visit uh, a shopping center. Okay. All right, it sounds good, Jose Angel, thanks. Thanks. Then let me ask Emma. Emma, tell me about your plans. Okay, um, we, we going to celebrate my dad's birthday. Um, I will cook chicken. Okay. And and uh, we are going to visit my grandma. All right. Nice, Emma. Carlos René, what are your plans? Uh, we're going to be going to dinner turkey. Okay. We're going to open present and... We going to visit my mother-in-law. All right, that's exciting. Melvin, yes, yes. what are your plans? Um, I, I will to visit my my family. Okay. I. I going to wear, wear uh, brand brand new clothes. That's cool. And I going to hit with my family, and and it's all <laughs> that's all okay thanks for sharing melby anna tell me about your plans i'm going to visit to my my mom and i'm going to eat dinner with them i'll i will i will eat uh duck for for a lunch okay and i will um i will i go to the beach great brenda tell us about your plans i going to work in the morning and i will curl my hair with my sister um, I I will cook the dinner and I going to dance with my family. All right, that sounds exciting. Sounds fun. Yes. <laughs> nice. So now let me let me just ask you some more questions. Let's see, Jose Angel. Tell me about a place you are going to visit soon. Ocean, tell me about a place you are going to visit soon. Just any plan that you, any, uh, I mean, place that yes, you can. Uh, to the I visit, I going to visit uh, the beach. The beach, okay. 
Sounds good. The, the I'm going to visit the. So when are you going to go to the beach? Uh, the San Diego. The okay. beach San Diego. Great. When? Uh, uh, the the um, 25th. 25th. Okay. All right. Nice, Jose Angel. Ana Palma, tell me, what are you going to do after the class? Go to the bed. <laughs> they made it to me. Oh, okay. You're going to bed. Sounds yes. good. But, but on the vacation, I... I had a, I had a, I had a rest, and I going to visit some family. Okay, you're visiting your family. Nice, Melvin. Tell me what you think about this question. Will humans ever meet aliens? What do you say? Please. please. Sure, it says, will humans ever meet aliens? Will humans ever meet aliens? Mm. You think you think we will or we won't? Mm, won't. We won't. We won't. Why? Why not? Because I think they doesn't exist. Oh, they don't exist, you think? Okay. All right. Now let me ask Brenda. Brenda, tell me about a country that you will visit in the future. The visit? Yes, a country you will visit in the future. Mm, I will uh, going to visit Canada. <laughs> you will visit Canada. Why? Yes. And the country is beautiful. Um, the uh, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. What do you think about the cold weather? Do you like it? Yes, you do. All right, that's nice. Fabricio, tell me what you think about this question. Will robots ever replace humans? Will robots ever replace humans? No, teacher. I, I won't, I won't, no, it's won't. They won't. You okay, won't. so robots won't replace humans. You say, why, why not? Uh, the robots is uh, make for humans. Make oh, okay. Humans is, uh, rulers and robots. Oh, okay. So you think that robots depend on humans? Yes. All right. That's an interesting answer. Let's see, Carlos René. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about something that your friend, your best friend is going to do soon. Just whatever that you know that he or she is going to do soon. Excuse me, teacher, repeat, please. Yes, tell me about something that your best friend is going to do soon. Oh, my, my best friend going to marry okay your best friend is going this to get weekend. married this weekend this weekend oh pretty soon that's nice okay and next question is for emma emma uh, do you have any kids 
No, teacher, I don't have. You don't? Okay, good, because this question says, what do you think your kids will look like? Um, will they be short or tall or, I mean, will they have black hair or maybe curly light hair. hair? Okay, they will have curly they will hair. Have curly hair, um, brown eyes. Brown eyes, okay. Um, they will be short. <laughs> they will be short, okay, nice. All right, so just in the remaining minutes, we are going to take a look at the final exam. Let me get it over here. I know that many of you have already solved it, but just in case you have any doubts or any questions about it, let's just um, check it. So it starts with a listening exercise, listening quiz, and in, in the instructions say you have to listen to the conversations and check the correct answer. So here you have the audio, then you have um, some statements that you need to complete or you need to choose the correct option for completing them. For example, number one says, Jen likes her new apartment because it has two bedrooms, there's too much noise, it's cheaper than her old apartment. You just mark the sentence that explains the reason why she likes the apartment. And also let me remind you that in the listening test or in the listening exercises, it is not really important or really essential to understand everything you hear. But what is really important is to get the information you are asked for. So it's not caring about all the message, but the pieces of information you are going to need in order to solve the exercise you are doing. And again, you should listen the most three times, but try to get it with only two times of listening. Then in part B, we have a vocabulary, a vocabulary exercise where we are going to choose the correct word. In number one, we have, for example, I love my neighborhood. It's very, then we have three options, dangerous, safe, inconvenient. So you just choose the one that you think is right. In part C, we got enough and not enough. We have to complete the sentences, use not enough and the words given. For example, in number one, we got our apartment is too small. There are not space enough, not rooms enough or not enough rooms. Just check for the structure and choose the correct answer. Next part is as many or as much. Remember about count and non-count nouns. And you have to complete the sentences. Use as as, as many as, or as much as in the words given. Number one says my apartment doesn't have many windows or much windows, my old one. So there you just choose one of the two options you are given and you complete the sentence. Part E is expressing wishes. You have to complete the sentences using I wish. Here you have an example, my parents won't buy me a car. I wish they would buy me a car. In the first exercise you have says, I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun, more fun. It was more fun. Once again, a review the, review the structure and you complete the sentence by choosing the right way of making sentences with I wish. Part F is about the simple past versus the present perfect. You have to complete the conversation using the simple past or the present perfect tense. And 
we have, for example, number one, have you ever eat, eats, or eaten Spanish food? Then you have the answer that you need to choose the verb for. And then we have part D. It says the future would will and be going to what we have just studied. You have to just complete the conversation by using one of the two tenses. Number one, you have what after class today and you got three options. You're going to do, are you going to do, are you going to? You just choose the one that is correct. We got a part H, which is a reading comprehension. You have to read Rosa's email, then choose true or false. Here you have some statements. You just select true or false, depending on the information you read in the text. And that will, that will be all for the intermediate one course. So thanks everybody for your attention and for your participation. It was a pleasure to be here working with you. I hope to see you soon. Have a nice holiday. Thanks. Thank you, Thank teacher. You. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Teacher, nice Bye. to meet you. Bye. Nice Have a meet Merry you Christmas. Too. Thank you. Very clean, um, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, Bye.